voltage regulation voltage regulation then is synchronous generator the terminal voltage supposed to be constant whatever may be the load from zero load to full load the terminal voltage supposed to be constant we are expecting that okay so the terminal voltage should not decrease but in practical the terminal voltage is decreasing why decreasing because three factors affecting the terminal voltage that is ia ra drop then ia xl drop then ia xar drop so the terminal voltage not equal to e phase so this is the equation that is e phase percentage regulation equal to e phase minus v phase divided by v phase into 100 now methods to determine the voltage regulation in general there are two method one is direct method and another one is indirect method so first we can discuss the direct method so direct method so direct method means so this is the arrangement armature of the alternator so here directly the load is connected that is the alternator is subjected to direct load so actual load is connected with alternator then this is the armature then field field system so field you have to give dc supply plus minus dc supply you have to give so rotating field means you have to rotate the field so emf field induced induced emf you can measure using the voltmeter this is star connected alternator so the prime mover here you can have the the prime mover prime, by using prime mover you are rotating the field then emf is induced in the armature that emf you can read from this voltmeter this is the load this is the direct uh, method so this is the tabular column uh, for direct load method so first you have to set the no load arrangement load should be in no load condition then you have to take the terminal voltage then uh, line current normally during no load the line current will be very less uh, to meet the losses then you can calculate the regulation using this formula okay then uh, gradually you can increase the load so the current will increases then the terminal voltage normally decreases if you increase the load the terminal voltage decreases you can calculate the regulation like that you can gradually increase the load up to rated current then you can take the terminal voltage then you can calculate the percentage regulation then uh, we can consider one problem in a direct method a yeah, 1200 kva the, this is the alternator rating 1200 kva 6600 volt the 6600 means that is the rated voltage of the alternator three phase alternator the connection is star connected alternator has its armature resistance 0.25 ohm per phase so the armature resistance given in per phase if it is not given you have to convert into per phase value so in this problem directly given in the per phase value so 0.25 ohm phase and its synchronous reactance as 5 ohm synchronous reactance means you know the notation xs so xs is 5 ohm per phase calculates its regulation if it delivers at full load so they are asking to calculate the regulation at full load point uh, uh, first case they are asking for uh, the percentage regulation at 0.8 per factor lagging then in second case they are asking voltage regulation at 0.8 per factor leading so from that you can first calculate the full load current why you want to calculate the full load current because they are asking regulation at full load so you have to calculate the full load current this is 1.497 how to calculate the full load current for that the kva rating is given that is kva formula kva small k capital v capital a that is the notation kva equal to root 3 vl il into 10 to the power of minus 3 so kva value what is the kva value kva is 1200 so 1200 root 3 then vl in star connection this voltage is line voltage okay so the 6600 then il into 10 to the power of minus 3 so here the 10 to the power of minus 3 you have to put so otherwise if you substitute va formula so if suppose we have the formula another one formula va equal to root 3 vl il so if you take this formula the va formula if you take va formula here you have to substitute 1200 into 10 to the power of 3 that means uh, in the problem the kva value is given you have to convert it into va so 1200 into 10 to the power of 3 va is equal to root 3 into vl is 6600 into il okay the 10 to the power of minus 3 will not come if you convert the kva into va 
So, if you directly put only 1200 because you are putting only KVA, 1200 equal to root 3 VL, 6600 uh, into IL, the 10 to the power minus 3 will come. Okay, this is the difference. If you put direct KVA value, the 10 to the power minus 3 will come. If you put VA value, the 10 to the power minus 3 will not come. You do not uh, do this mistake in your examination. So, KVA equal root 3 VL IL into 10 to the power minus 3. From that, you can calculate IL. That is the line current. In star connected alternator, line current equal to phase current because you know the arrangement, star connection arrangement. Okay. Star connection, this is the star connection arrangement. So, line current equal to phase current. So, the 104.97 is also equal to phase current. Then, phase voltage. Phase voltage in star connection arrangement, phase voltage equal to line voltage divided by root 3. That is 6600 divided by root 3. So, that will give uh, 3810.5 volt. So, now, so far we calculated the full load current and the phase voltage we have calculated. This is the equation E phase you are supposed to calculate in this problem you are supposed to calculate E phase. So, V phase value then cos phi IARA V phase sin phi plus or minus IAXS while calculating 0.8 lagging while calculating at 0.8 lagging power factor for lagging you have to consider only plus. Okay. So, what is the V phase value? V phase we already calculated that is 6600 divided by root 3. So, this is the V phase value. Then cos phi is 0.8. So, at that power factor you have to calculate the E phase. So, 0.8 you can substitute for cos phi. Then IA. So, what is IA? Here full load current because they are asking regulation at full load. So, what is the full load current? Uh, phase current per phase value. Okay. 104.97. So, that you can substitute here. Then RA. R mutual resistance per phase. That is also given in the question itself 0.25 ohm. Then V phase once again. Then sin phi. So, cos phi is 0.8 means sin phi I think 0.6 will come. Then IA. So, IA same that is 104.97. Xs directly given in the problem that is 5 ohm. So, you can substitute all the value you can calculate the E phase that is 3810.52 then cos phi is 0.8 then IA value then RA the whole square plus 3810.51 this one then 0.6 plus 104 then excess is 5. If you solve the E phase you will get 4166.06. So, the E phase value in regulation formula what is the formula E phase minus V phase divided by V phase. What is V phase? V phase is 6600 divided by root 3. So, in previous uh, slide 6600 divided by 3 that is 3810. So, that you can substitute 3810 this is fixed. Okay. So, the E phase will vary. Okay. Then uh, 4166.06. So, you will get the regulation plus 0.933. This is the percentage regulation of the alternator at 0.8 power factor lagging. Next subdivision we can go. So, that is power factor for 0.8 power factor leading. So, the same formula you can use for leading you have to put minus. This is the difference. And all others are same that is 3810.8 per factor then 104 current full load then 0.25 sin phi 0.6 then here minus will come because power factor is a leading power factor then 104 then excess the E phase value 3543.47 now you can substitute that here this one. So, now the percentage regulation is minus 7 percent now what is the inference from this problem. So, what is the inference? So, first inference is in uh, if power factor is lagging, power factor is lagging power factor, the E phase value, E phase value is always greater than that is E phase is always greater than V phase. That is why the percentage regulation comes in positive, okay, because E phase is greater than V phase. Why E phase is greater than V phase in case of lagging power factor? Lagging power factor demagnetizing effect. So, demagnetizing effect what happens? Demagnetizing effect and the armature flux always opposes the main flux. So, the terminal voltage decreases. Which one is terminal voltage? V phase is the terminal voltage. That is that uh, terminal voltage is always less than the E phase. 
that is why the value percentage voltage regulation in positive. What about in leading power factor? So, in leading power factor here the E phase is less than the V phase, less than the V phase. So, here 3500 something, here 3800. So, EMF induced inside the alternator is only 3500, but terminal you are getting uh, more wire, more voltage that is 3810 you are getting terminal. Why? Because this is the leading power factor, so magnetizing effect. So, in magnetizing effect armature flux always assist the main flux or supports the main flux. So, the terminal voltage increases that is why the uh, percentage regulation in negative, negative ok. So, this is the one of the major inference from this problem. Then one more thing, so in this problem they are asking regulation at a full load ok. Suppose they are asking regulation at half load. So, what are all the modification you have to do? So, same procedure you have to calculate the current, full load current ok. Then yeah, they are asking regulation at half load instead of full load say half load. So, half load means so you have to re reduce this current by 50 percent that means instead of 104 so say 105 so it will come 52.5 ok 50 percent current that is half load half the 1 by 2 times ok. So, 52.5 there is no reduction in the voltage will be same because load decides only current ok. So, the current depends on load ok. So, in that formula so V phase you can substitute same value cos phi 0.8 same. So, instead of I A so 104.97 why you are substitute 104.97 because full load they are asking regulation at full load. Now, off load so you have to substitute 52.5 this is the major difference ok. Then R A value same then V phase ok then 0.6 here also I A you have to substitute 52.5 then excess then you can calculate corresponding E phase you can substitute here ok. Like that you can calculate regulation at any load condition you can calculate sometimes they may ask for 30 percent of the load or 20 percentage of the load or 80 percentage of load whatever maybe you can calculate this is the procedure. So, the procedure that is E phase you have to calculate for calculating the E phase you need uh, you should know V phase value, I A value then power factor value. Once you know this 3 value then R A and the excess this value you are able to calculate E phase. Once you know E phase you can substitute the value in the uh, voltage regulation expression then you can calculate the voltage regulation ok. 